The mountain fam. You're going at the mountain. Yes, we are. Peace out at the swan. Go kilowatts on back. So, with the little fella. Hello. There are the allotments. Everyone growing the veggies there. Look at that, pumpkins. Pumpkin season, everyone. Hey. Pumpkins being grown there. Just going on the dog, little walk up the mountain. For the, um, have a little walk and talk. Regarding my upcoming bare knuckle bout against Ben Hatchett on the 11th of November, the rematch. Uh, bad to the bone. There he is, the tank. Good to the swan. That's what I'm going to call them because I've got an um, opportunity of stopping Ben Hatchett win the Charles Bronson belt and um, winning that myself. But I just want to try and clarify and clear up um, a few things because in the comments and a lot, it's come up quite a lot. So my dog sounds like a bloody tank. Don't you, lad? Want some water? I'll give him some water here, fam. Some water. Some water, mate. Some water. Come <laughs> Give me some water. Here it is, fam. Come here. Get it out. What's this? Oh. Yeah, nice. There's one anymore. That'll do. Anyway, English Bulldogs. The, the breathing isn't the best, you know. Um, lucky to have them. Anyway, so I want to clear up a few things about the hatchet uh, and swan first fight. I, I genuinely thought it was the 22nd count, guys. I did. And um, it was... It was a little swipe on the chin, all right? It weren't no fucking shot ending, uh, fight ending shot, all right? And it caught me on like the, the button of the chin. Um, it it, it buckled, it buckled my legs slight for a bit. Might have put, put my, took one of my legs away for a brief second, but, um, it took my breath away. That was the main concern to me. Um, I'll flat off it because um, I thought bloody hell. It's, it's took me from having full stamina to, to breathing pretty heavy here. Um, so I thought I'll take 18 here. I'm going to get my full a lot of time down on the deck. So Because um, I know when I spring up, when I get up. He's going to come straight over for the finish. And um, at 10, he counted me out, everyone. At 10 seconds. If I knew it was at 10, yeah, I'd have been up at 9. And at my defence as well, because it weren't no fight-ending shot. Certainly was not the outcome of the... what what uh, The outcome was I lost, but it was not the result in beating me, that, that punch. No way. It, the result in the beating of me was the count because when it, when it, when he waved up I, I jumped straight up and I tracked the referee when he walked like to the other side of us other side of the ring and I had to like walk after him and track him down and my balance was fine you know um I was fine you know and at 10 I was fine at five, at five I was fine but my breathing wasn't where I wanted it so I was staying down to get to get a bit of rest, you know what I mean? But 
it was 10 seconds and not 20. And that's cost me my O and my purse. All right, there's a Charles Bronson title on the line. And that, 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 that's great, that's amazing, but nothing will give me more pleasure than stopping him winning that. All right, good boy, fam. Yes, so we're just going for a little stroll up Cum Mountain. Me and uh, the little fella. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. Length for November, Stoke. Pay per view. Bloody ball. Um, get your tickets. The nice lad. Yeah, and some more. He's a good boy. Hey, good boy. Yeah, so come on in, we'll go back down. Good boy. Come on in. Where you going? Go on in, you're going there. Go on in. Some little wee there, Santa. Well, I'll wait here, go on. So we've got the Swan Hatchet too, yeah? Everybody. Stoke, bad to the bone, good to the Swan. I'm training out of Mike Egan's uh, Immortals, the box gym. It's the box now, it's known as the Immortals, the Immortals gym. He's training me. That brings um, a lot of confidence because, you know, yesterday was a hell of a great session. I feel like I learnt loads. Um, all, I, all I'm... Come on then, fam, let's go. All I'm... Come on, fam, let's go. Good boy. Come on, all I'm focused on is doing what he says, Mike Egan, and um, avenging this loss because no way was that the Swan defeated, like, come on. Right, and um, I can't wait anyway. Peace out, love you all. Go kill a watch.